Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgan 111, and welcome back to Yugo Puzzle. I've looked at this one and thought about it a little bit, and I had the idea, what if I made an upside down U shape, like the one that could fit here at the end? And then I think with one yellow block, you could either have one leg standing on that or one leg standing on uh, these gray bits, and that could work. And so the question is, can I actually assemble that shape? I think the answer might be yes. So suppose I did this to start, then I guess I can't get the other red guy to become the other leg. And this guy's already fallen down here. So that doesn't seem like that works right at the start. What if I try to do things the other way? That is to say, oops. Uh, also, oops, there we go. Have this guy attached over here. The problem with that is, once again, I can't get this guy down around the other side to become the bottom of the U, because it'll stick up here. And so since neither of those work, therefore the puzzle's impossible. Um, is there some other way to do this? I can't attach it while this is any lower than it is now, because I want it to skate across all the top of all this. But unfortunately, once I do that, then this guy only has one leg to stand on, and I can't get yellow underneath it so that I can move red across. And there's no way to get the yellow out. That seems like a non-starter. And we just looked at this. This one, I could get him all the way over to here. So this gives room for this guy to hop over. But now he's on the wrong side to ever connect up to the bottom here. So I don't see that working. But if this guy already did have this attached over here, then he could just hop across the rest of the way using yellow and get to where he's going. So that's my idea. Shape. Thoughts for the goal. But yeah, there's no way to lift this guy back up. And I think those are the only two possible starting positions I can come up with. I guess there might be... Hmm, is there possibly another starting position that I haven't thought of here? That's as far to the right as this one can go, and then if anybody else comes down, they get attached. So whether this guy goes all the way to the right or all the way to the left, he is getting stuck to this guy. Unless yellow jumps in the pit, at which point this guy's already further down, at which point I can't make the shape that I was planning to make. So maybe my great idea doesn't work. Is there any way that I could attach some of these first up here and still create that shape? Actually, I never thought about, is there a reason for yellow to like stay up here longer? I don't think so. There's no way for this guy to like jump up on top of this guy and... Um... It is interesting, maybe, that yellow is, like, starting on this little cliff over here. Is there any chance that I recall that this guy could, like, do a bunch of surfing across, mostly on his own? But I don't think there's any way... Yeah... And if he ends up surfing on Yellow's back, then he wasn't able to move further to the left. And so there's no way to change that unless Yellow goes down here, at which point he can get all the way across, but then there's no way to get this guy to help out at the end. Oh, or is there... no. Again, I can't, like, jump up with this to try to connect it into, like, a S shape or something. 
Hmm. There's not a lot of options. Once again, that's the thing that this puzzle game is really good at. Presenting you a very small set of possible opening moves. And all of them seem impossible. None of them seem to <laughs> end up where you're going. One of them eventually has to. I just have to find it. Here's something I didn't think about. Uh, I don't think it's going to be useful, but it occurs to me that I could make a three tall thing, but I guess it would never be wide enough to cross these gaps even with some help from yellow. I mean, yellow would have to be on the left hand side of it to start anyway, which already seems impossible, and we still don't have a way to get this guy down. But is there anything else along? those lines that I haven't thought through. This is also... Hmm. This is vaguely interesting. I'm... kind of visualizing something in my head I can't really describe. So this is not at all helpful. Yeah, so I definitely don't want to connect to you yet. If I do this, you are incapable of pushing to the left. Is there any way to... I guess you could have connected already. And then... This is at least a different shape than I've ever created. I still don't think it's helpful. But different is good. It means we're thinking about different things. Now if I could only rotate this. <laughs> I've been playing around for a number of minutes. One interesting thing I found is this move. I'm not sure what to do after it. That kind of combines into a way that's not helpful to me. It is noteworthy that I can make this shape, which has a nice start to here, but there doesn't seem to be anything I can do after that. It kind of just ends up falling into one of these earlier holes, given where yellow is. And the other thing I could possibly do... This can skate across, but we still don't have anybody to fit down here. Still not sure. Well, I think I finally ran out of ideas, so advanced five. Let's check out the hint system. Hint number one. Oh, wow, you get hints per day? Who had any clue? Yes, let's show hint number one. Hint number one. That shape. Okay, I've made that shape before. Um, I'll leave it up on the screen. But basically, it's this shape. Although, pushed further to the... Oh! This is what I was trying to do. Somehow I just never saw it. There we go. Solve the puzzle. Uh, I didn't quite solve the puzzle. Okay. Uh, I didn't quite solve the puzzle. Wait a minute. You need to hop over again. Got it. I uh, didn't quite solve the puzzle. Hold on. <laughs> Uh, hmm. When does yellow jump over? I guess here. And then he can just walk across. Nope. And then one more here. And then he can just walk across. Yeah. Okay. I had made that shape, basically. Hmm. I guess I didn't walk it as far over to the left to realize that I could drop this one down without immediately connecting or something? I'm not sure. Somehow I just had a blind spot for that, but it was interesting to see what the hidden system looks like, so I'm okay with that. Let's see. Three colors. There's not a lot of space to move. We have to push in order to like move underneath some of these areas. All of these colors are going to be difficult to get together. Hmm. 
Also, I wonder if someone has to go across the top. It's kind of suggested that that's going to be a thing. So let's imagine a blue comes across the top in order to merge all the blues together. But then how would the yellows get together? I guess they... Uh... Like, the reds can get together... Actually, can the reds get together? Hmm. Probably. Somehow. They can't move right now, so someone would need to push one of them. Well, a yellow guy pushing him would be kind of ideal. Can I get a yellow guy over there? Let's imagine yes. Okay, so this guy can push the yellow guy. And the yellow guy can push this. Oh. But then our red is trapped. But otherwise, I did it. Two out of three ain't bad. So, what if I had red left on the bottom? And then tried the same thing? No, that's what I did before. Right, and the problem was when yellow merged with this yellow. So what if instead... Well, what could I possibly do instead? If there were still blue here, so the yellow wouldn't merge? That seems plausibly interesting. So let's imagine the blue comes over the top. Uh, there's still yellow here, which means this yellow is going to merge with this yellow and it's no good. So, what if the yellow drops down first? Then a red is okay, but then a blue... Oh, blue's never getting across the top. Which seems no good. However... There still could be some good that comes from this, maybe? Possibly, probably not? Is there a way to ever pull this blue to the left? Not right now, because this yellow's in the way. And he came right out of the beginning. So what if I did... Um, how am I trying to do this? I'm not sure. What am I trying to do? Oh boy. Tough puzzles. Oh, here's something that didn't occur to me. When there's an entire top here, then this guy is capable of moving to the right because he can't bounce upwards. That's going to be almost undoubtedly an important mechanic. How can I use that to my advantage? Like, it's not to my advantage here because now Blue is stuck. And I don't think that that's going to be valuable to me. Yeah, so, hmm. I like the idea of that, though. Like, this guy can just slide out. And the problem is he's going to, like, trap his friends. And if he does this, then he can't just slide out. But this guy can still push him. And... Oh. But yeah, there's no way... Well, can blue... Blue could push this out, but then the yellows can't get together now because there's yellow in between here. And if I didn't bring the yellow down, then there would have been no way to get a blue over here because they'd hit their heads as they try to go over here. Once again, feels like there's only so many iterations that I can try. So I could probably like just try them all. And when I was here, did I try moving this to the left? I think I did. And the problem now is red moves to the right and the trap's blue. 
And so what if then red can't move to the left and pushing it to the right doesn't really help anybody and yellow is going to trap red. So mm, is there a color? Mm -hmm. Maybe I don't have anybody go across the top. Maybe going across the top is a red herring. But I still need to get everybody out. So... I think this blue can never get with his friends now, because there's a yellow in between. So that's totally not going to work. Hmm. This puzzle feels like it's short on insights and long on trial and error. Yeah, which I don't love. I don't see another good way to do it. So I'm just going to futz with this puzzle for a bit. Alright, I've been working on this for a while. I think I might be starting to see some things. So... I feel like the reds want to end up over here. And so a key move is to move this one far away. And then I need to pull the yellow out, and so in order to pull the yellow out, I would have to shove a yellow in here so it can get stuck on the side and then pull it out. And then I could pull the red out, but the blues are not together because the yellows are stuck in between. In general, anytime you end up with, on the bottom row, color A, color B, and color A again, then I think you're stuck because you can never get the two colors together. And so that's where I'm struggling because basically... Here I had the reds going to the right. Is there ever a way I could have the yellows end up over in this end? That's interesting. I haven't tried that yet. If I wanted the yellows to end up over there, I guess the way it would have to happen is to have this pushed over here. And then there already isn't enough space to get the other yellow in there though. So I think that's already an impossibility. Here's a move I never tried before. Suppose I get blues like this. This actually looks somewhat promising. Like this doesn't quite work, but it's kind of closer than I've been. So what did I do there? It was just a matter of trying to get the blues together first at the beginning. So what I like about that is it provides a way for yellow to get around all the blues. And so... Knowing that I'm going to do that, the problem is this can't move at all. There's no red to suck him out. Is there any way to use the blues first? Yes, actually there is. While this guy is still here... Uh, oh, this gets dodgy. Can I keep yellow separated? Yes, this can just slide over here. And then that can press that to the right. Is that the only thing I needed to do? I think it is. I think it is. Because now you can go to here. Oh, you can't squish in there. You can no longer squish back to the left. Yes, you can. Yellow can help you. Squish him back to the left. There we go. I did it. Okay. <laughs> that one, I might have spent an hour on it just in this one sitting right now. I'm not sure how much it turned into in terms of video. Yikes. That was rough. Okay, what puzzle are we on now? We're in advanced seven. Okay. This one seems familiar. Didn't we do a puzzle that was very similar to this? I need to bring all four yellows in here. This feels very familiar. I don't know that I trust my own 
sense of familiarity? Like, is it possible that I like saw this in a demo or something? But why does this not work? Oh, because we need to press this to the left to get in there. Could I have just joined them up in a different order to get in there? Someone has to press them to the left. And that someone is you? Except you can't. Because anytime you try to press to the left, you get caught on this. Okay, so I see the issue. I see the issue. There's another way for guys to go to the left, and that's for the ceiling to be blocked, but I don't see a way to get the ceiling blocked. Do I? Another way to press to the left is if I formed like a three and a one, and I put the one in first and then push the three over because this guy would be able to push with enough force. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Uh, no, does that make sense? I'm not sure that made any sense, whatever I just said. I don't even know what I just said. Um... So the, okay, this guy can push. Oh, he can't push from here because he can't hop over here. And this guy can't hop over here. If this guy could come down here, he could push to the left. And he could end up here. But he can only do so while there's only a one high here. And if he goes any farther to the right, he ends up here, unless he goes over here. But this also doesn't help because whenever he tries to get back here to do the final push, he's going to end up doing this. And does it help at all to have him sitting on top of this? I can't tell. It seems like it might. Because he could, like, do this, and then... Can he push that in? Yeah. That almost does it. But unfortunately, I think there's no way for this guy to get through now. Could I have done something different with this guy earlier? Or formed... Yeah, suppose it was this guy who was coming in last, but otherwise do that same thing. So... Basically form an L shape, get him in the L shape, have him push it inside. Yeah, that's fine. And then this can push in here, and this can push in here, and this can push over here. Okay. That one was actually easy. <laughs> Great. Um, do I have time for another puzzle? Let's imagine yes. I feel like I edited out a gazillion. Oh, hey, I get my grid lines back to help me with the stair step over here. Okay, so we need to pump up the yellow so that it can climb in here, and then we need to pump up the other yellow so it can climb in here. Oh, wait, pump up. How can I ever pump anything up? I have to, I can't pump up, I lift up. So it's not the case that I just like do bounces, because any bounces that I do just cause this thing to go down, 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 and they're never coming back. What happens if I go off the screen? Uh, that's as far down as it allows me to go. Okay. So, I have to stick these little things on the side of this and then have green below it to try to, like, bounce it back up or something. I think is what I'm hearing. Can I not just make, like, a staircase to do this? Why does something along the lines of this ish not work okay i see why that doesn't work but i could oops uh any chance that that'll work that's actually kind of close uh it jumped down a little bit too much but otherwise yes could i have jumped down less could i have jumped down less maybe Because you're just hanging there. Suppose I were here. Uh, 
Um, and then... Oh, these will grow together. if they, they have to travel separately. That didn't occur to me. And this is not low enough down. If this were one full block down from where it is right now... One full block down, then this guy still wouldn't be able to jump up. And one full block down would be the stair step. Okay, so I can't just do that with the stair step. So I need to... I probably do need to attach one of them to the side. Not there, though. Ooh, how am I going to attach one of them to the side? I guess something like this, and then you can jump up. You can't jump up again, though. And if you jump down, then I've lost my ability to use this as a lever to pull up. Uh, hmm... Have I bitten off more than I can chew for the day? It's possible. Suppose I did this. It doesn't quite work. Awfully close, though. Actually... Can I make this work somehow? You can lift. Can I lift again? Oh, I don't see a way to lift again. That's too bad. Okay. I'm not even sure that I want the stair step shape. That connects at the top, which is probably bad. Actually, that might be good. Is there any chance that these guys can swap positions? They might be able to. Uh, you can push me in here. And then I can jump over you and you can jump over me. Does this do it? Uh, I need to pull this whole thing down. Which I can't do now. Which I can't do now. Back when it was down lower, this might have been great. But there's no way to do that now, right? Yeah. Okay. I feel like this one is going to be easy-ish. I could be wrong. The fact that this exists here suggests that I do need to connect these in some kind of stair step. So I do feel like this is likely to be something I'm going to want to do. So suppose I knock that down one first. And then do this. Okay, that's about right. This guy can now climb up here. And this guy can lift him up. There we go. And get him in. However, this guy now can't climb up. And this guy can't help. So was there a way for this guy to push it down on the way out? So he jumped it up. Can he jump it up again? Could I get the other guy... Here we go. Other guy already on the stair. Then knock it up. He goes in. Other guy's already on the stair. Who pushes it down? This guy pushes it up. There we go. I thought it was going to be easy once I saw the idea. Okay. Okay. Um, remind me what puzzle number we are on. I think I'll probably have to save the remainder. Yeah, there's two more puzzles left at least. So, we'll look at those next time. I'm going to say I hope as always that you all are having a great day, and I will see you again soon with more Yugo Puzzle. For now, bye-bye.